Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Next Tutorial, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. So first of all what we'll need to do is just turn the, uh, the computer on and see what it does. Then we're going to try to detect and see what the problem is and get it fixed. So we have the computer running right now and as you will see you, the message screen will display on the screen. As you've seen, the message screen just popped up on the screen. Um, the computer is going to stay um, rebooting. It's going to keep rebooting, take you. It's going to try to do the uh, repair, but it's not going to work. So, what we're going to do next is this. Our next step, what we're going to do, turn on the PC and you want to press the F10 key. Keep tapping until you get to the bio screen. When you get to the bio screen, what we're going to do, you want to go to storage, then you want to self test, DPS self test, and you want to press enter to run the test. So, what this is going to do, we're going to check if the hard drive is bad and need to be replaced or what the issue is. And this should give us um, a reason or detect the problem. Right here it says test failed, drive replacement recommended. Our next step is we're going to replace the hard drive because that seems what the issue is with this specific uh, desktop. We're going to remove that screw right there so we can slide that top piece off. You're going to need the screwdriver to do this and once you do it you just want to pull to the side. The next step what we're going to do we're gonna lift up the uh, disconnect and lift up the CD drive which is connected with these two uh, ribbon cables which is going to disconnect these then we're going to lift it up to get to the hard drive once they're disconnected you just want to lift it up slowly then you see right here the hard drive is right underneath it which is this is it right here so it's connected with these two uh, screws what we're gonna do we're gonna just remove those two screws with a screwdriver so we can release the uh, hard drive and disconnect it Those are the two cables connecting the hard drive, so we just release those. So now this is the hard drive, it's one terabyte hard drive. We're gonna put the same size hard drive, this is the new one, it's one terabyte. Same brand, just that's the bad one, which is gonna put a brand new one. As you see, it's sealed, it's brand new. We're just gonna go ahead and open the box and install it. Then we'll just connect the new hard drive with the same cables we just disconnected from the old one. And we're just going to set it the way it is. It's actually not sitting right because I think I forgot to take out the screws off the old hard drive. So what we're going to do is just going to take them off, which is those right here, and put them on the other one so it could sit right on the same spot. I just put the screws off camera. So we're just going to reconnect the wires and set it back the way it is and put the screws back on the other end so it would hold it on the same spot so it won't be wiggling or it'll just sit tight in the same spot. Now we're done with that, we'll just put the uh, CD drive in its spot, then reconnect it back 
so we can go ahead and close the box. Now everything in its place and replaced, we'll just go ahead and put everything back the way it is, which is the outside cover in the front. Then we'll just go ahead and close the cover piece and put the screw to, um, to close it. Same screw, just have to put it back the way it was and just close it. Our next step, what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the PC and see what it does. Most likely this PC is going to say no bootable device because the hard disk does not have any software or Windows operating system installed to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the PC. Next what we're going to do, we're going to plug this Windows 10 USB flash drive. We're going to turn on the computer then tap on the F9 key. Once we tap on the F9 key, this will come up. We're going to be using UEFI SanDisk option to click enter. When you do that, we're, it's going to take us to the install the Windows 10 so we can download it on the new hard drive because it's, it's blank and it does not have any operating system on it. There you go. When we get to this, we're just going to go on next. Then install now. So we can start the process of installing the new Windows 10 on this um, computer. When you get to this, you want to check the box, then you want to hit next. Then we're going to use the advanced option, which is the bottom option. When you click on that, then you want to go on next. Now, we have so much stuff right here. I'm just going to be deleting some of those. Then we're going to pick the, uh, the bigger portion of the hard drive, which is the 930 gigs then I'm just gonna hit next once I delete some of these um, extra stuff. Once we do that, we click next, then it's going to start the download process using the USB straight to the hard drive. We're not using a CD, you could use a CD if you want or you can just do the USB drive. If you need help creating a Windows uh, 10 USB, I will provide the link below or at the end of this video on one of my other videos on how to create the Windows 10 USB drive and it's totally free and it's provided from Microsoft. So once you do use this USB and you update your computer, you will have an authentic copy download it on your computer and you can access this USB anytime once you have it downloaded on the USB drive. As you see right here guys, um, everything is downloaded and installed. We replaced the hard drive and we installed Windows 10 on this computer. It's fully fixed and the issue has been fixed. All you gotta do right now is just set up your computer, um, add your Hotmail or Microsoft um, account to it and you're going to be um, good to go basically. And uh, this concludes our tutorial for today. 
If you found it helpful to you, please make sure to like and subscribe my channel for more videos. And thank you guys for watching.